everyone, when they go to visit somewhere, wants to see what's really the essence of the place and, and that's what we've tried to do through our projects. So we've had this um, incredible exhibition which has travelled around the forest um, and now we've made it into this mini travelling exhibition so that we can actually get out on the forest and share our, our commoning lives with people who really are interested, who've come to the forest because they love it. We've invited many, many groups here to the farm. We've had a lot of uh, National Park staff, rangers and people from other organisations here and we've talked to them about our commoning lives so that they um, better understand the forest. The project has given us a new way of talking about the forest and I hope that the social media work that we've done, the websites that's, that's been built for the Real New Forest project, the uh, work I've done with schools and with teachers, that they will continue going forward. For us, the game changer has been the collaborative nature of the OPOF projects. So the shared projects and the, and the partnership is some 12 or 15 different organisations and we all bring something different to the table, but it's all interconnected. The lottery funding has enabled us to provide training for commoners, both in engaging with the public themselves and using social media to get a message out to a, a wider audience. And that's been a massive change for commoners um, to be able to reach far and wide to people who haven't even arrived at the forest yet is, is really exciting for us. The hashtag add three minutes campaign um, has been a significant part of trying to get the winter traffic to slow down and, and take account of animals on the road, particularly at night time. Um, we've devised a communications calendar which tracks the various messages that are important across the forest at various times of the year and those are being used now by Forestry England, by the New Forest National Park Authority, um, the Verderers, the CDA, the Animal Accident Reduction Group. By working together we can, we can actually produce a much more coherent message and a, and a one full story rather than lots of disparate pieces of information that may or may not reach the audience. The mentoring scheme is a great way for experienced commoners to share their knowledge and the traditions of commoning to the new and younger commoners that join the community. I was paired up with Suzanne who's a long-term and really experienced commoner and we did everything from drifting, we beauty road sales, I did some shadow judging with her and uh, since then I've become an active part of the commoning community. Commoners have always been proud of what they do and their heritage and this project has given us the confidence and the platform to share our story to a much wider audience.